Hello guys, it's been a while, I know um, Lately I've been settling with a lot of family stuff So basically, two days ago was our Malaysian National Day It's a very important day for us, obviously And I had to celebrate it with my families So, I apologize In my last video, in my previous episode of Monday R&R Basically, I lost the footage the second part of footage. I would like to continue on where I left from last time because I have several reviews and I find it could be really helpful for you guys especially if you are traveling in the near future or in years to come. I don't know, it might help. You don't have to take it from me, it's just me sharing it. Uh, I hope you would enjoy it. Right now, we're gonna go to Google Map. I will go check out my contribution. Yeah, there it is. So yeah, uh, if you recall correctly, I had like 12,000 views. If I remember correctly, it doesn't say it's in my computer. I don't. I have no idea why. And if you got it right, if you like, give yourself a thumbs up. Let's continue where we left off last time. I remember I stopped at Singapore, and so after Singapore. I went to Australia. Ah, there it is. So that's my first review. It's apparently all the way here. Uh, it's, so I went to Sydney and it was great. Very long flight and I nearly I got a very bad jet lag. Like during the day I was sleeping and everyone was doing their stuff and I was just sleeping. I didn't really get to enjoy that much. So uh, all the way from here we landed around in here, the city obviously, that's where the international airport, then we go all the way here, the Blue Mountain area, alright, if you happen to go to Sydney, you cannot miss this place, alright, it will be a waste if you didn't go here, then, there's a small town, apparently, it's a very weird name, it's called Katumba, I hope I pronounced that right, and, yes, uh, what's known best here is the Three Sisters. In case you don't know what's that, it's actually a World Heritage Certified Area. Uh, it's basically like a stone, naturally generated, standing side by side. And it's, it's really cool, I hope I can show you a picture of it. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's... I, I think, especially for frequent travelers like you, I think you should know this. Yeah, it's very nice. And But it's very, very windy, especially early in the morning. It was so freezing. I literally couldn't open my eye, so um, it's cold and windy at the same time. That's the worst weather you can get in here, alright, in Australia. So yeah, it was great here. We we stayed here for a few days, and apparently they have an Asian restaurant here. <laughs> so I guess it was great. <laughs> it fits my um, my expectation at least. Alright, oh well, where was I? Oh yes, our review. So when I say I went back. I went to Australia. There's a place called the Tree System Motel and Cottage. This is literally where I went and I stayed. If you want to go there sooner, I would strongly recommend this area. It's like a motel, like a typical uh, American like hotel where you just park your car and you just walk into your hotel room and you sleep there. But obviously, um, an early reservation is required. But vacancy is always limited because this place is too goddamn awesome. So after that, we went back all the way by bus to Sydney, and that's where things really going boom. So we stayed somewhere. I don't know where. It's just so big. I just remember. Yeah, we stayed here in Darling Harbour. Yeah, if you go Sydney. It's not only the opera house, you know, the pointy building or the bridge that you have to go to. Darling Harbour is definitely a must-go area. Uh, it's basically like where all the just all the entertainment happening there. Okay, there are sheeps and oh yeah, by the way, Sydney. Uh, is it safe to say that it's similar to New York? Basically, it's very diversified. You don't really see the whites too often. I mean, you do see them. But you may see other uh, people of different ethnic city, like mostly Asians and even Indian, and they are the you know, Aboriginal. Yeah. So basically, you can see literally everyone there. 
kind of remind me of New York. I never went, went to New York before, by the way. But I, I think you could relate. Oh yeah, I made a review of Darling Harbour. And yeah, it was great. Australia in general, they are great, okay. And I bet you Malaysians, uh, it's, it's easy to go there nowadays with the AirAsia airline. Because it's relatively affordable. And it's the closest western country that we could go to. After my trip in Australia, I went to Malaysia, then at the end of the year, we went to Phuket. Oh yes, that's where the interesting things start to happen. But I'll get there in a minute. So I read, okay, before I go on, Phuket, surely you know it's all about the beaches and all. Well, I, I, don't, I didn't go there for to seeing the girl. <laughs> God, where did I say that? So yeah, um, the beaches, I'm sure if you know Phuket well, you should know this place. Uh, it's called Patong Beach. Uh, it's a very touristy area. And obviously, touristy means expensive. Things are super, super expensive. They could, they could overcharge you. And so yes, um, very crowded. A lot of what's happening at night in the commercial district. And there are even street clubs. So yeah, <laughs> that's the one I went for. Instead, instead of lingering around there, we went to the Fusion Cafe Phuket. Basically, this was like the old town area for Phuket and where all the local resides. Uh, it's great to reflect to my memories in Phuket. So, if you want to go for a local yet hipster uh, eat in cafe, this is the place Fusion Cafe. It was really, really underrated. Uh, I bet not many tourists know this area. Maybe some of you know. And here it is. Um, you may see, look at that food. Look at that. Where can you find it? Where else in, in Thailand? Come on. So they serve ob obviously Thai food, but they are surprisingly cheap uh, at local price. They don't overcharge you, okay? They are like the finest quality in Phuket. I, I can't like. And they even serve coffee. Wow. Where else can you get coffee in Thailand? So they have like this. Uh, dry fried noodles and oh I remember though they serve spaghetti or pasta uh, instead of a carbonara sauce they serve it in like a green curry and that's like the spiciest shit I ever eaten like eat it at your own risk but if you don't you can't tolerate spicy um, don't do that you may end up in a Thai hospital <laughs> so yeah I went for it uh, it's really great mm, if you go to Phuket Try this restaurant, it's not far away from Patong, it's only like 30 minute drive or even 25 depending on the traffic. So next up, oh yes, this is the place that I will never forget. It's called the Tiger Kingdom Phuket. It's a place indeed where you can visit Tiger, you can even touch them. Okay, get up close to them, taking selfies with them and it was, it was really adventurous. <laughs> it was the closest I was to a Tiger like or even my first time seeing a live one. Yeah, surprise. So yeah, uh, it's also a very touristy area. A lot of tourists went here. The staff are friendly. Uh, they know how to speak. They can speak English well. So basically what happens here, um, I think they only have Tiger here and you have to pay a substantial amount of money. I think it was 900 Thai baht for me. I'm Googling it. Okay, so 900 Thai baht. Yeah, uh, it's about that price, I know, uh, but it's reasonable because for them to maintain tigers and how to feed them, the medicine they have to provide them to keep them in shape is really expensive. I totally understand, but it was a, it was uh, it was worth it, really worth it. Uh, but probably by far the most traumatizing experience I ever had. <laughs> so basically, I went in alone. I went in alone. My parents did not follow. They, they just wanted me to try out because they just wanted to see me getting scared and that's a favorite thing. So I went in there, there's like a tiger keeper there to guide you and basically um, it was sort of like tell, tell the tigers to you know do certain pose or open your mouth then like okay we'll take a picture of that. So there's one time, I thought that guy was crazy. He was like, hug the tiger, hug it. I was like, no, no, you crazy. Come on. I'm just here for picture, not <laughs> I mean you could touch it but not hug it. That's like that's beyond <laughs> what I expected. 
So yeah, the guy insisted like, come on, hug it, come on, hug. Then I was like, okay, fine. And I, I, I hug it, indeed. Well, <laughs> I guess that's what you paid for, 123 bucks. Uh, okay, yeah, it was fun, really fun. And I nearly shit my pants after I got out of that zoo. And yeah, uh, well, after that, yeah, it was great. Um, we went there for like a few days and... Oh yes, one more thing. If you happen to go um, Patong Beach, here's a hotel I would strongly recommend. It's called Swiss Hotel Resort. Well, as touristy as it sounds, yes, it's relatively expensive. But it, what matters more is how close you stay towards the beach. Okay, it's really close. It's only like 5 minute walk. It's great. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's pretty much it for me. Um, Monday r and R. Second episode. That was it. Uh, my part 2 of my Google review. I hope it's helpful for you all. Mm, thank you. Smash like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want more Monday r and R. Or you could leave me some suggestion on what I should review on. I'm sorry if I have shitty reviews <laughs> on stuff. Uh, give it a try and hit the notification button. Make sure that you are notified. And yes, I see you in the next video. Bye bye.